I'm matching. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an introduction for a new project pan. I'm really excited about this one because this is a new Harry Potter project pan that I am doing with the Pantastic Ladies on Facebook. I was going to say always but most time it is with the Pantastic Ladies to be honest. So this project is called Harry Potter and the Cursed Project because the theater show thing was called Cursed Child then Cursed Project. It is based off the show so there are six categories and I have chosen makeup and a beauty item. I tried to pick more beauty items but nothing fit into the categories. So yeah, sad but true. It is a project that starts today and it goes until September 26th, so there are three months in this project. And I believe it's just monthly updates. And hopefully that is everything I have to say about this project. And let's just go into the categories because I don't think there are much more to say than this. So the first category is a product that inspires you to play. And I chose my MDK Vice 4 palette. I mentioned this palette in products that I am scared to pan and I really want to push myself to use some of these shadows because I really really like them and maybe this project can do something about that and just play around with some shadows. So the shadow I have chosen is Flame. It is this glittery orangey shade. I love patting on my eyelid with my finger. When I want to play around with this palette I grab a toad towards that shade so it is inspiring me to play with the palette. A product that seems cursed because it never ends. I have chosen a body lotion because my body lotion stash keeps growing for some reason and it never goes down and that's annoying. <laughs> so I chose a body lotion and this is Yves Raspberry Peppermint. I was trying to pan the shower gel, I actually have it here, the shower gel in the trap tint before summer. Uh, project and I just wanted to use the body lotion now because why not? Hopefully I can go through this in three months. There are 200 milliliters in this so I think I can do it. So I am starting off right there. I have never used this one before so there's a good chunk in this. I think this will be really nice here in the summertime. So the third category is time turner and that is your oldest product in a category. Where are you? Here? And I chose a gel eyeliner, and that is just the oldest eyeliner I have. It is the L'Oreal Gel Intensa Eyeliner in black, pure black actually. So I have a lot of pan and I really want to do so I have half of this left. I think I can do that. I don't think I can finish it all, but I really want to finish so it's half gone or maybe just half of what, what is left. That would be amazing. I forget to include this in my inventory. I don't know why, but I do. The eyeshadows I want to have pan on if I can. Hopefully I can. I am working on a lot of shadows. But I want to. The fourth category is Sword of Gryffindor Godric Sword. So that is silver ruby or something hourglass shaped or something. Maybe the brand. I don't have any hourglass. <laughs> Never touch an hourglass product actually. So I chose something silver. This has silver, kind of at least, rainbowy, silver writing on it. It is the W7 Lives of Beach Beach Body Contour Sculpting Body Cream. I had this in my drop tin before summer project and I only got to do that. Because I am not wearing as much clothing because it's summer and so on, maybe I can force myself to use this more often. I have three of them. This is the Party Princess Pearl version and that is the palest one. So then we have the fifth category and that is Slytherin's Locket which is something glittering green and I chose another eyeshadow from the Vice 4 palette. I thought it was a good idea to pick two shadows if I wanted to do that. This palette has some greens in it and they are really shimmery and one of them is glittery and that is arctic and it is this maybe it's more turquoise but i think it's green <laughs> so this has some glitter in it maybe you can see it the other two are more shimmery so i hope that is okay that i chose that shadow again i will try to pan on it but let's see how i am doing 
I love a good green shadow and orangey crease and I thought it was going to pan nicely with flame. And I'm panning a very warm toned and orangey toned palette in my Mad Man, my Man Mad. So I thought that was a good choice. And then we have the last category which is parts one and two products that comes in two. It can be a double ended pencil, eyebrow kit, so on. However, you can make it work. And I chose a twin product because this lip liner I have two of the same shade and this is the W7 Lip Twister in Champagne it is a more darker nude but I can tone it down with some lipsticks that I'm panning so I thought this was a good option I can go through these fairly easily so I thought it was a good product to put in a project pan and because I have two of the same shade I, wouldn't, I am not going to miss it right away so this is almost brand new I have used it a few times so that is why it is kind of slanted at the end here so that is how much product I have left I have marked it but now you have seen how much product there are so is product that is that is the last product in this pretty pan I am really excited to start this hopefully I can do better than some of my latest product pans so hopefully me putting in some beauty products will keep the pressure off my chest a little bit. Let's see how I do. For one week in this summer I am not home. I am out traveling so I'm not going to bring the shadows for that week. But maybe the lip liner and the shimmery thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a like. If you did subscribe down below I would love for you to hang out on my channel. I do a lot of pretty pants. Not just this one. A lot of them. So I believe if you like pretty pants, you would enjoy my channel because I do a lot of them. And palette bingos. I love those as well. If you have any ideas, leave them down below. And until my next video, please take care.